one talking about I Saw Goody Proctor with the Devil by Andy Brand 1692. The notes in this are Dragon's Blood, Champaka Flower, Exotic Spices, Ancient Spell Books, and Smoldering Cauldron. As soon as I saw that note, Smoldering Cauldron, I was like, I am in. That just sounded so fun and interesting to me. This is such a well done take on, I would say like a Nag Champa style incense fragrance. It's very much done in like a classic kind of vintage scent profile way, but in a way that's totally modern enough that I don't think that it would smell dated to wear today. It has this like cool smokiness to it as well as like almost like a clean light slight soapiness as well, but in a good way and I'm pretty picky about soapy aspects. Smells very niche quality. Indie fragrance can be can go a lot of different ways in terms of whether it smells niche quality or whether it's just kind of like, okay, well, this is more interesting or, oh, it's made by a small brand at least. But no, this for sure smells in, you know niche quality. Highly recommended for any fans of Nag Champa style incense fragrances. But I do not recommend ordering directly from 1692. They're very well known in the indie fragrance community. You can search them on Reddit for being so unreliable. Uh, when I ordered from them because before I knew that, they took over three months to ship. They constantly told me, you know, things that weren't true about when it was shipped or what it, when it would ship or all these different things. And a lot of people just never got their packages from them and just had to do a chargeback. So this has been going on for years. They delete anything that anybody mentions about it on their social media, et cetera. But again, if you look at the brand on Reddit, you will see many, many threads of people talking about this. However, the scent is amazing. They are, they put out fantastic stuff. So if you're looking, I definitely recommend their scents. Uh, no complaints at all for most of the ones I've tried there. If you're looking to buy it, what I would recommend is keep an eye on the subreddit Indie Makeup and More. Every Sunday there's an Indie Fragrance Tud where people can sell like bottles and samples that they have. And there's like always some 1692 fragrances on the list. Um, I will link that in the description as well but uh yeah do not recommend ordering from them no matter how good the scents are it's just too much of a gamble and you're you very well might just be like throwing money down the drain and never getting it but if you can get it from somebody like on reddit or selling somewhere else instead totally yes this is very very good incense and uh yeah just smells good i would say it's very unisex has good longevity and moderate projection